Blizzard. Hello, this is day three of my Maui trip with my buddy Dave and Dan and Anna. So it's been a little rainy day in this community, this awesome Hawaiian community, this sort of an HOA. And for the first time I'm getting rained on. This morning, or through the night, it had rained. Never really saw the rain. It's a little bit humid. There's Dave up there trying out a longboard. <laughs> He's coming at me. Hey, what's up, surfer guy? Stop. Watch stop out. Stop sign. Don't stop for that stop sign. Whoa, now he's dead. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to do a cool cartwheel off of that, but he did. He's like a surfer guy. Surfing the road. Dang. Yeah, it's, it's raining a little bit now. Paul's gonna film me. So we just need waves because I definitely will try to surf every little thing that comes up. Get out of my way. go back out when the waves are better. All right, get that out of my teeth. <laughs> Haleakala National Park is on the Hawaiian island of Maui. It's home to the dormant Haleakala volcano and endangered Hawaiian geese. My friend Dave and I see the sights before we get to the top of the crater. Of course, the sight of some eucalyptus trees caught our eye. We had to stop and check it out. 
Whether ascending or descending, you don't have to drive very far to change altitudes fast. Supposedly, it's the fastest descent in the shortest amount of time almost anywhere in the world, is what I hear from my guided tour on my phone. So Dave and I just stopped here on the side of the road looking at these amazing trees with really cool bark. And he's getting some photos over there. The bark is super orange. Why is it orange, Dave? It's rusting, actually. It's full of iron. Is it really? <laughs> no, it's actually carrot. The roots are made of carrots. Oh! So we're gonna eat some. Get back to you. Oh, supposedly it makes you really sleepy. <laughs> I wasn't dead. In all honesty, we're not sure why it's orange, but it looks cool. You can see that we're high enough over there, the clouds are starting to run into the mountain. Raptors ahead! Ah! We are high up. I'll tell you where to turn. So we've made it to the summit of Haleakala. We are here, right there. Pretty much the top of the entire island. There's a little path over there. We'll head up and look into the crater. I can smell kind of a sulfury smell, so I assume that is crater smell. I downloaded this app, Shaka Tour Guide. During it, it stressed to be prepared for cold because it does get cold up here. They're like, it can get down to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. And I thought, that's actually like the perfect temperature. It feels just like home. So there's nothing wrong with the temperature right now. Even though it's chillier, it feels very good. I kind of do feel like I'm on the top of the world here though. It's quite high up. My hometown of Utah is about 4,500 feet in elevation and you can vary up to about 15,000 feet. This is, I believe, 10,000 feet. It says 9,740 feet. So almost 10,000. We're gonna go up to the full 10,000. Feeling good. You gotta make sure to get good deep breaths now and then and drink some water. Let's go, Dave. Let's look at the crater. Come on, Paul, let's go to the crater. Okay, go. yeah. How couple, old is it? A couple hundred years old is how it developed. A little bit of time. Yeah, 100 years, that's all? About 100 years. Back when the Indians were here, they were, they were making arrowheads out of this place and they made a whole <coughs> crater out of this place. Crazy. I don't think that's true. I got a library here to prove it. You can get books on it and everything. <gasps> fiction books? <laughs> yeah, it's a fiction <laughs> book? Yeah, fiction. Okay, let's look into the crater. Oh, it's totally... What the? Oh no, it's so foggy. Oh no. At first glance, we're not seeing anything. So far, the clouds are covering the crater. What are we supposed to be seeing here? The crater actually burned up. It's it, it's pure steam now. It's like uh, actually it shares a, a warp hole with Mars, and we probably got a little too much carbon dioxide down in there. My guess is it's just too hot, a little too close to the sun at this point. Kind of a <laughs> I'm I'm not even kidding. Uh, it's a fictional story. So look. Hawaiian petrol. That is, it looks like a bird where there's only like a thousand around here. So we gotta keep an eye out, and keep them safe. It doesn't fly, right, Dave? Uh, it what? doesn't like to fly, it likes to stay on the ground. It likes to stay on the ground. It's like the dodo. I didn't know the dodo just walked around. They say to stay away, don't try to spook it or be close to it. Don't try to stay put it on your platter. Don't try to put it on your poo poo platter. Just keep away from it and admire it from a distance. Look at that. 
Can you see the top of the clouds right over there? There's nothing really to look at. My autofocus is kind of going crazy. He's getting pictures of the mountainous regions. After Dave and I got many pictures of rocks and gravel and, uh, and grass, since we couldn't see the crater, we decided to go higher up in elevation. far down in. The search continues. Darn, overlooks the clouds. Oh well. There was this little plant, little fern growing under the rock, and it had a chance to life. Along came a Goldilocks girl. She ate all of its porridge, and it stopped its growth. And so there it is, just a peewee little fern. Sad story. Well, it's just basically my hopes and dreams are shattered. So we'll take the long walk down <laughs> out of here. We'll actually go up here and see what we can see. There, there's that little house. Overlook. Where is it? It's somewhere up there. I see David. We've had a rare sighting of the endangered species, also known as the Davy Bird, right here. Get a load of him by Crikey, folding his, his jacket as a Davy Bird would do. Let's not get any closer. We're supposed to stay away. Now let's talk about a real bird the Chukar partridge. Native to Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Nepal, the Chukar partridge was introduced to the islands in 1942 as an army food source during World War II. Though the Nene goose is rarely seen above 8,000 feet in elevation, Chukars originally from the Himalayas are accustomed to the high elevations and can be seen throughout Haleakala. When disturbed, this bird prefers to run rather than fly. But if necessary, it flies a short distance, often downhill. Chukar partridge feces is one of the most rare substances known for curing gullibilitis. That last part was fake. So we're at the actual summit now. And Dave was just talking about these supposed rare silver plants. What are these, Dave? Uh, Some these, kind of rare alien plant? These, these are rare alien plants. They're actually from the, the wormhole near Saturn. And they actually have real silver in them, which creates the silver look that you see. Um, the thing mercury. Of, it's, well, it could be mercury. Yeah. No, technically, the technical term is silver. That's the scientific term. Oh. And uh, what makes these special is that, much like the aloe vera plant, if you are, say, you've got animantium in your bones and you need to heal, say, it got damaged, which is almost unfathomable. You can actually put this stuff like aloe vera on a sunburn, put it on your freaking bones and it will regrow them. Wow. Especially if you're wolverine. Let's take a look. Uh, uh, uh hey David, there's uh, a graboid came out of the ground and died. It just froze in midair. What's a graboid? <laughs> Haven't you ever seen tremors? Oh yeah, it's right there, I can see it. I'm glad it's dead, because I'd be scared if it was alive, coming after us and wanting to eat us. Yeah. Hey, so I was feeling a little lightheaded, and I think it could have been because I was walking a little too fast. It's like on Kilimanjaro or Mount Everest when we were there that last year. Man, we felt really sluggish at this height. Really? Were you? <laughs> Are you kidding or? We look, and he's running. I'm cheating. See the sign right here? Yeah. He's got to slow down. Is that the big island? Yeah, it is the big island. Yeah, wait. Uh, it totally is the big island. 
That's that it. could be the big island, huh? That is, because that's the southeast. Can you see any plumes of I smoke? Just, I just see darkness on the far right, like oranginess. And those clouds could have been from the volcano that was erupting. Even from this observatory area, can't see anything. Can't see anything except for the last parking lot we were at and clouds. And but we can see the big island, which was over there. So that's about it. In the Haleakala crater, you, you must, must fight, fight to, to survive. survive. Thank you for watching. Please become a follower by subscribing. It's that button right there to the left. Be excellent to each other and ta-ta for now.